On our regular perimeter check this morning, we did find a young echidna, which was very exciting to see, as it means they are breeding well in our Barrington Wildlife Sanctuary. One of the most exciting things about the Barrington Wildlife Sanctuary means it's not only Aussie Arct animals that prosper, uh, it's also the natives that live in the area. And unfortunately, this one has a little bit of a tick um, growing on its head. Most natives are resilient to these native ticks, but he's also got a little bit of fur loss. So we figured we'd bring him in, give him a health check and remove that tick for him. Ticks can have a bad effect on us humans and our domestic pets. But for an animal who has evolved naturally alongside them for millions of years, they've developed a bit of a resistance to them. Uh, but with an echidna this size, it doesn't hurt to intervene and make it a little easier for him. We've just weighed our little echidna and he is a healthy 888 and a half grams, which gives us an indication that he's probably around a year old, which is dispersal age for this species. So he's just starting to remove himself from the den, look for termites and ants and take care of himself from now on. Aussie Ark is an absolute stronghold for species like the echidna and all the abundant wildlife you find in the Barrington Tops. A lot of these species here are endemic to Australia. You won't find them anywhere else in the world, and some of them you will only find in the Barrington Tops, which makes Aussie Ark a very important place for these animals to call home. Now with a clean bill of health, it's time to let our little echidna friend go.